I want to look at why it is that we use functions in programs. Here's my example program this time. I've got a program that, given the number of achieved merit and excellence credits that you got in a subject, calculates whether you got an achieve, uh, a merit or an excellence endorsement or no endorsement. Um, the way this is set up is uh, we've got one subject is a entry in each of these arrays here so this subject is 12 12 16 uh, this subject is 14 achieved 7 merit 11 excellence and so on so we've got a bunch of functions here now we know that functions are used when we don't want to do repeated code but there's other reasons for using functions as well main one is it makes the code much more readable and maintainable so for instance i can see when i look at this code here so I've got a little bit of setup of these global lists, and then I call a function, that this one here. Now, this function here, I can see it's got a little bit of a menu thing going on, and I've got lovely readable code, like if menu choice equals one, then it calls this function here. If menu choice equals two, it calls this function here. I could put all of this code right here. That would work exactly the same. It would be no different as far as the program is concerned. However, it's much tidier to know our uh, enter records is here and this is my enter records function and I can look at that in one space and not have to think about how it interacts with the other parts of this function that's going on here. Same with the view endorsement. Um, now looking at this enter records function, this is a classic example of a function that uh, doesn't take any parameters so there's nothing inside the brackets here and doesn't return any values all it's doing is it's working on global variables global lists here it's pushing a new entry on each time you enter your achieve merit excellence credits and it pushes each one onto that list and um, there's nothing wrong with that but for this standard we will need you to give us x um, evidence that you know how to use parameters and return values. So an example of that is this one here. This is function calculate subject endorsement. It receives parameters of achieved merit excellence credits. It works with those. It's not working with global values. It's working with the parameters that have been passed to it. And depending on the result, so if you've got four, more than 14 excellence credits, it should be more than equals anyway if you've got more than 14 excellence credits it returns a value to the uh, place that called it so for here for instance it, it calculates subject endorsement this gives it three values and if i give it for example uh, this one the first one in the list where it's got 16 excellence credits it will return an excellence all right so um that's the quick overview of why we use functions apart from just the repeated code thing and also just a reminder that we do need to see parameters being passed to functions and return uh, returns being used to return values back.